what happens if Mrs. Mum was just an incredible lady, but Mr. Mum was just, just, uh, just a, a bad, miserable person. Right. You know, I mean, like how does, how does Mrs. Mum, you know, if, if he's that, but she's this, I mean, you're going to do everything that you can to, to, to make amends and to, to sort of keep your P's and Q's so you're not going to become judgmental against them. In other words, right. let that turn into bitterness and anger and hatred and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, like, like if you do everything that you possibly can do and it doesn't seem to be breaking down the wall, I mean, do you revert to just saying, okay, well, then I need to be far. And I don't mean split and leave. I just mean oh. far until you can appreciate and respect and come around to where right. I am and at least begin to, as you say, take one thing and right. accept it. So that we can come a little more closer together. Yes. I mean, is that the wise thing to do? It is the wise thing to do. Uh, I, in fact, I want to build on what you're saying because the dilemma of near and far, uh, to me, it's completely anchored in spiritual truth in the Bible. Okay. That because it's an inherent dilemma, because there's no way out of it. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you're in control, I'm not. And if I'm in control, you're not. Like, mm -hmm. we can't both be in control. Right. It's not possible. Yeah. So you're forced to go down the path of humility, which says, if you want, you want us to be in a near relationship, then the far person has to willingly and intentionally move into the near mm -hmm. zone. And what that means is essentially being a lot more compliant mm -hmm. with the other person. Mm -hmm. But not be a doormat. It's only a doormat if you perceive it as a doormat. Okay. So that's a big part of non -judge. Jesus said, turn the other cheek. Right. Now, was Jesus a doormat? Mm. I think Jesus was the toughest guy who ever yeah. walked the yeah. planet. Mm -hmm. But he turned the other cheek mm -hmm. because he understood what was important, what was worth fighting over, mm -hmm. and what was not worth fighting mm -hmm. over. Uh, and so, you know, as he said... Yeah. Don't worry about who can kill the body. You worry about who can kill the body and the spirit. Right. So for him, his body, his life, mm -hmm. was not something that you would fight for. Mm -hmm. So that becomes the challenge. You know, what are you fighting for? Yeah. And if you feel you're a doormat because you agreed to, uh, I don't know, clean up clothes that you didn't drop on the floor, and, and that offends you, that pushes your buttons, yeah. then you're going to feel like a doormat. Yeah. On the other hand, if you can go to a place of humility, mm -hmm. you can say, you know what? I'm okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind picking up yeah. the dirty clothes. Yeah. And so then you do it. Then mm -hmm. you're not a doormat. Yeah. Same behavior, totally different mm -hmm. mindset. Good point.